Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our goal challenge, which I have kind of been slacking on, um, but it looks like we have some mail. So it is Monday. Mondays are when I like to do the recordings for the gold challenge video. It's a good day because it's the day before I post it. So it gives me time to get it all ready. So it's not so rushed. And it's also the end of the week, right? Because Monday's the beginning of the new week. And that way, everything I've made for Sunday night is good. Because what if, what if I do the video like Sunday at 8 in the evening, and then I decide to hop back in at 10 to like check auctions, right? So I just prefer to, prefer to do it Monday, and then we have the full week in there. None available. Why would you put it in there then? Oh, that's my favorite list. My favorite list is working. Nice. Okay, so they they fixed some stuff as of Monday morning because it's like it's 730 in the morning right now. So yeah, that is fixed because usually what would happen is on logout it would reset. So cool to see that that's all fixed. I like to... These are... These are mainly mounts that I either want or I'm selling. So that's why they're in my favorites. I really don't like the price that the jeweled is sitting at. We hit our first milestone towards our 5 mil goal. And that is reaching 1 million gold. So we are going to do a contest. I am going to give away the jeweled panther mount you will need to be a patreon for this i decided you know after it was suggested someone had suggested oh why don't you do that over on patreon and when that was suggested it made a whole lot of sense to me it's just easier you know with when you're streaming it's easy to run a contest because the person's actually right in your stream you can tell them hey hop on i'll hand you this mount or this pad and boom done but with youtube you need a little more communication going on to do the transaction so patreon's perfect for that and my Patreon is linked in all my videos, so just go to the description of this video. You'll see the link there. I will have a post up on the Patreon page, so you will know exactly where to post. So basically, you go to the Patreon page, and you put a comment into the post that has to do with the contest. And as a theme, we will have you post what your last obtained mount was. Whether it was bought or you got from an achievement or you bought it on the store. You know, yeah. So that that's what you will comment. You will uh, say what mount you got and that that answer will enter you into the contest. That way I can determine the difference between comment like regular comments and contest entry comments the contest starts right now and it will end uh thursday night so sometime thursday evening i will post the results who won and then thursday or friday we'll do the transaction and you will get the amount and I think I'm going to record it too. I'm not going to record anything like happening on Patreon because I, I value your guys' privacy very much. So I don't, I don't ever show any of the subs over there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the in-game stuff. So I'll record... Um, us meeting up and doing the transaction of the mount and yeah and we'll add that into the next wow challenge video okay so over here you can see that I slacked a bit when it came to the sky golem uh, we still got a lot of work with the sky golem I only logged into the rogue once 
this week. Actually, I don't even know. Actually, no, I didn't even log in at all because I'm logging in right now, which is Monday morning. And yeah, the the patch totally sidetracked me all week. Yeah. So there has been no progress as far as the Sky Golem this week. Um, there, there may be more progress this next week. Um, however, I am thinking we might skip next week. I, I know it's, um, weird, but okay, here, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this week, this week my, my, um, my main focus was the jellies. So I went and I farmed the jellies, which I only farmed for like an hour because this was kind of the testing period, right? I wanted to make sure that they do sell at a reasonable pace before I go farming a shitload of them. So I just farmed enough for an hour, which is how long the goggles last, so it worked perfectly. And then I put them on the auction house and they were one of three items that didn't get mailed back to me, which is a bug right now. The bug right now is that the items that you sell, if they're in high quantity, they you don't see the items get returned to you and you don't see the gold you made from it. It's, it's just kind of lost in space, more or less. So... So that's been a real piss off. I I have a lot of unaccounted income in the gold farming weekly here for items that are lost in the air, basically. I even checked my trade skill add-on, which is, you know, the add-on that everyone who, you know, gold farms uses. It's TSM. And uh, I did check that one to see if it was tracking the the cell. And yeah, it, it doesn't even see anything. It doesn't even see me putting the jellies in the auction house. I had roughly 20k worth that I was selling the jellies for. And then there was the inflatable shoes, the mount equipment that the blacksmiths make. And I was selling those for 14K. So, you know, I didn't get those back, so they must have sold, but the money's, you know, lost in space. And then the other one I noticed missing was my flasks. I had decided to sell the flasks that were on me. They were actually my personal flasks that I use, but I figured, whatever, I can go make some more before raid, you know, occurs on Tuesday. And so I sold six of those at 900 a pop, and um, those didn't get returned to me, so they must have sold. And yeah, so there's a bit of a unaccounted money here and what that has done is that has unmotivated me to sell anything on the auction house I've pretty much stopped like there's literally nothing in the auction house right now it's all sitting in my bags or my bank because I refuse I refuse to take a loss you know like there's you know hopefully there's you know, those will get returned to me. And when this bug is fixed, the money is back. I'm not taking a loss on anything else. And yeah, I just refuse to throw anything in the auction house. And they're not going to help me with a ticket right now because of it being a known bug. So yeah, I'm just going to wait till the auction house bug is done with. I don't know how long that's going to take, but whatever. I don't care. I'm the worst person for this because I am a very stubborn, full-blooded Italian with very little patience, and I flip out at the smallest little things. So something like this I just can't handle. And yeah, 
we we just got to be done with it. And so I'm not saying this is the end of the gold challenge. We're not ending at the one mil. This this gold challenge is for five million gold. And this is not a game over situation, but it is a pause until they fix their shit with the auction house. Because I refuse to sell anything more in the auction house when I'm not even getting my money or my items back. So, so that's how that is going. So, long story short, I do think... The jelly farm went well because realistically this bug only really occurs if you sold the items. So the fact that I didn't get the jellies back and I didn't get the money makes me think I did actually sell them. You know, same with the rest, but you know, our our test this week was for the jellies to find out if the jellies are what we're going to start making our money from so that I'm not hopping on all these different characters creating items that take weeks to sell, right? I'd rather just sell the the stuff that can maybe be done on a single character and yeah. And also because of that, you might have seen that I was actually in the process of sending mail to my rogue. I was going to mail off the living steel and I changed my mind because I just don't trust it. I don't trust the mailbox and I don't trust the auction house right now until this bug is fixed which is the biggest reason we're gonna take like a one week break. I'm hoping it's not longer than one week but I will definitely let you guys know if it is and yeah but you know, one way of being able to tell if you don't watch my WoW Weekly videos, because that's where I would let you know. So if you don't watch those, but you still want to kind of know when my next gold challenge video would be, it'll be when you hear that the bug is dealt with. You know, as soon as, as, soon as I hear that there is no longer an auction house bug... I'll be back. And I keep up on news, guys. Like, I, I do WoW Weekly every week, right? So I keep up on the news every day, so I will know right away. Okay, guys, so here's our spreadsheet. And we're looking at week six right here. So the section where you see the arrow, obviously. And so on the 14th, did some auctions. It was patch day. So not a whole lot done, but it, it was honestly one of our best days. <laughs> so almost 14,000 earned that day. So almost the goal. The goal is 20,000 every day. Uh, the 15th, not a whole lot done. Uh, the 16th, uh, like I put no wow today, but I know I played. I just, for some reason, I made zero zero gold. I don't know what I did, but ever since patch day, I've been on every day doing my rep. So for whatever reason, we just made nothing, but I was logged in. Uh, the 17th made 15,000 from dailies, the 18th, 1506 from dailies, and the 19th, 4982 from dailies. Weekly goal is 140,000. Weekly achieve was 36. So realistically, I didn't even achieve two days of our target. However, for someone who does everything in WoW, 20,000 gold as a target daily is a pretty big target. But the reason I made at 20,000 is because if I don't add tokens, which you know I'm going to do, I'm going to add tokens, and I have along the way here and there, which I've mentioned in the weeks that I have. You know, if it's not that target, we wouldn't have the 5 mil by our target frame, which I believe it was... July slash August that is our goal. 
top sold item was platinum whetstone that is a follower item it gives you a higher percentage of completions on your board and i didn't buy anything so so at least we didn't lose money you know because that would have put a negative in there if i had bought items that that would have been a lower amount now back to my rogue here uh the rogue as far as all my alts at the garden they are still at the garden but i've stopped hopping on all the alts it became unneeded actually because i was doing it to get more minerals but there's just so many minerals now because I was doing it on like every character. So I'm just going to save myself the grief of logging on to every character. And I've only really been doing the gardening on characters that are doing something regarding the gold challenge. So if they don't have another task on top of that, I don't log into them to do the garden. So it's really just the rogue and the mage that do the garden, but they do it whenever. I, I don't make it like a, a high importance to log on to them every day to do the garden. I should be with the rogue at least because we should be doing our daily, daily create item. But other than that, with the mage, I'm pretty much caught up on the living steel. I gotta make like four more living steel, but I still need like two weeks of creating this daily item on the rogue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the garden on the rogue as I'm doing the dailies. And then when I'm on, I don't know, probably the last day of creating the item, then I'll send all the trillium bars that I have to the mage because it really doesn't matter. I'm not using the daily create on the mage because it's actually cheaper to just use the spirit of harmony and then cut the trillium bars in half. Because if you do the daily, it's six trillium bars. If you do the one that you can do like consistently, however many times you want, it's three trillium bars but with three spirits of harmony and it's so easy to get spirits of harmony like if i if i start running low all i have to do is plant them in this garden because it's actually an item that you can plant in the garden as well so um so yeah i'm not totally worried about that so while this bug is still occurring that's what i'm gonna focus for. So yeah, that's what I'll focus. I'll continue to do the the rogue item. Uh, I think I will go out and do another farm of the jellies because I do highly, highly believe they sold or else I'd have those items. They would have gotten mailed to me because at the beginning of the video, you noticed I had a bunch of items that got mailed back. Those were the things that didn't sell. So if it hadn't sold, it would have been in that grouping of mail. So I, I'm i going to go farm another one. Not too many. I'll probably just do another batch of an hour. An hour, maybe two hours. But, but they're going to sit. They're just going to be farmed and sit in my inventory until the bug is fixed. So, yeah, unfortunately that puts a halt to our gold challenge videos, guys. So I apologize for that, but, you know, really it's out of my hands. But on a good note, we do have the Panther giveaway. And um, so you can either enter it to actually have the jeweled panther or you could enter it to sell something that sells for anywhere between the panther mount sells anywhere between i would say 170k to 200 so it's a good amount of money that you could sell the panther mount for and if no one enters i'm gonna keep selling it so you know so take it as you will <laughs>
<laughs> That's why we're holding off for a couple of days. But, again, until the bug is fixed, I won't even put the panther mount back in there. So that's why it kind of became the perfect giveaway for this time, because then if no one enters, I'll just <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so no one enter, okay? No one go to Patreon and uh, let me just keep my mount. I'm just kidding, guys. Go ahead, enter, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye.